Still on? Yeah. The, the, the mic is hot. Okay, mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check, one, two, one, two. What's going on? <clears throat> Welcome back to another episode of the CMP podcast. Chimp, Chimp Moe and Pokian. Also known as Joey. Also known as the Christopher Moe podcast. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And today, I'm joined by some lovely people. Chimp back in Pokian. I'm the Hello. Christopher of the CMP podcast. Always oh, rebranded am- Hentai yeah. Haven. Yes. Before. Also known as Hentai Haven. True. <laughs> That's not. Moet podcast. CMP. We did not change the name. We are AKA. We are the Hentai Haven podcast, AKA CMP. AKA yeah. Hunter X Hunt. And uh, we're just going to jump right to the shits. The shits being chainsawed, man. Woo! Finally out. Oh. I was gonna I was gonna talk about the Reddit rankings real quick. The Reddit ranking. Like of like the most popular anime being discussed. Oh, what's going on with that? What's the what's the most popular anime being discussed, Jimping? Dang. You you have the game right now, actually. Never mind. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's talk about Chainsaw Man. Let's talk about Chainsaw Man, the most popular anime being discussed. <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> Hype Star. Um, Definitely a hype start. Yeah. I, literally, okay. Literally, one of the this. So this is Chainsaw Man. Where it starts off is this is being one of the most hype, anticipated animes of all time. I was literally getting text messages from family members, chainsaw emojis. I was worried. I didn't know what was going on. I personally had never even heard of Chainsaw Man. I didn't. I did not the anime book, novel, a note passed to me in school. Nothing. I never knew anything about it. This I pulled up on the episode and saw that there was a hundred thousand likes, yeah. likes on it and 70 million comments. Like, that's not even a joke. 80 million comments, fit a hundred thousand likes, literally five stars, not even 4.9, literally five stars the whole way. I'm like, okay, this must be the goat greatest anime of all time. There's no two ways around it. You coming through? They coming through. So the hype is unreal. Do you guys think that's a problem? Can, like, is it? Can it? Can the series be too hyped? No. And even if it's good, can the uh, can too much hype still ruin a good series? I mean, people will. Like, if people if people gas it up to be better than it is, then yes. But it's been good. It's yeah. really good. It's a great start. And people will complain. People that hated it before, or were gonna hate it before, we're gonna hate it after. Anyway. It's it's not like it's not like there's like some hidden metaphor behind the show, right? It's just it's just the shonen. It's not like Neon Genesis where like the kid is depressed and like you have to follow his journey and like there's different little metaphors behind every single thing that he does. Which Neon Genesis is trash, by the way. Which is why I'm saying this. Never seen it. Never seen it. But I'll, I'll take your word for that. But yeah, it, it could be like that, but it's not. So, that's good. I mean, it's exactly what it is. It's called Chainsaw Man. We saw a Chainsaw Man. We have a cool story with it too. Yeah. We got a little bit of his backstory. You know, we were struggling. Fake ate a cigarette. Found a demon. <laughs> and, you uh, fake the, ate a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> the damn mom is like, I need seven hundred thousand from you when you're two years old tomorrow. What's wrong? Like, I, got I got it, Chief. Gave the I can't believe Joey. That's like one okay, distinct on, thing that down, Joey, Joey remembers. <laughs> Joey, run it through the whole show. Hold on, calm down. He <laughs> fake ate a cigarette. He <laughs> that's that's the Gator trick. Gator's told me he had to do that once or twice before. First and yen. I know how it goes. I mean, Gator's I actually part of the Yakuza. Though. For real, but... I I'd be hungry. It is what it is. Yeah, so that he thinks he's a Jolly Rancher. He's like, oh, I love that purple black Jolly Rancher. Not Jolly Rancher, like the little cigarette gum. Hello. Oh, okay. You have you had that before? I have. They're like okay. little. They're like uh like powdery stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. But she, she get me uh, going. <laughs> I think it was good. I so to start the to, to start the anime, it was it was very quiet. Nice little opening scene. Yeah. Not a lot there. You know what I'm saying? Walking. I really enjoyed that. I, yeah, I like. Yeah. Uh, I, like I, I loved it. I, I loved it. I, th- I think silence is underrated in uh, in anime. Like a lot of times, it feels like uh, like they'll they'll just add shit in to keep the keep the audio bed messy. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that there's always some sort of noise going on. But sometimes, you know, you roll in with complete silence, and you let the story talk for yourself. I actually enjoy that. I like that there's no like 
I also like there's no real narrator that's coming through and telling me everything. And that the dialogue's not straight narration. I enjoy that as well. I like I like stories where it's like, yo, I'm just telling you, like, this is just a story. Please try and keep up. Like it's not going it's not too crazy for you. You should be able to keep up along with what's going on here. And it transitioned really nicely. Like he's like, okay, this guy sold a lot of himself and he works hard for money. And then right. you and then slowly you realize why he's doing that for the money. Like it's not like right. because he's greedy, it's because like he actually has a purpose for doing that. I didn't sell my left nut because I wanted to. <laughs> I sold it because my dad left me with a billion dollars in debt. God, that was such a funny. I was such Thanks, a funny phrase. Dad. Sold my left nut for only got a hundred k. By the way, I only got a hundred k for my left nut. Crazy. You would think, you know, it'd be more. Not a lot of lefties in the world. You would think that you'd have to sell it as a pair. No, no, no. You need no, one. you need you need one you of need them. At least one. Well, you don't really, you don't really, but he, you would, you would prefer. A, no, like... no, he still wants the, he still wants the shape of the sack. That's what basically he gets out of that. You don't got one. Where's, there's nothing there. No, you don't need that. No, 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 it's like it's like having carrying around an empty purse. What's the point? Just it's like uh, like Michael Phelps when he shaves everything off, you get better aerodynamics, smoother. Oh. Like I, the the balls is just wind drag at that point. The one ball. The one ball is wind drag. All that is doing is slowing you down. Go ahead and sell that shit too. Get the get the other hundred k. <laughs> How is it slowing him down, dude? He's not running with it, dragging his balls around everywhere. Like you don't know that. <laughs> you don't. You don't. You don't know what's going on down there. That shit could be hurt. That shit could be holding him back. Okay. So I like the silence that it started off with, and then as it go, like Chimbak said, you know, nice little. It's like running with a little transitions, like. Everything's kind of flowing nicely. You see that the dude that, uh, who, you know, you never know what's going on with these stories. If his dad, like, actually killed himself or if this dude did something to him and, like. But we know it wasn't the dude, though. Put the noose around his neck and kicked him off a chair some crazy. Who wasn't but the this, dude? But it is what we know it wasn't the dude, right? Like, we know that much. Wait, wait, say it one more time. What do you in mean? This, in this one, we know it wasn't the dude. Right, it, it wouldn't be the the uh, what's it called? It wouldn't be the damn the uh, banker. Bob. Yeah, it wouldn't be them because they want money first. He had he had another day. And remember the beginning, he was complaining about damn man, one day before the rent or some crap, right? Or the monthly installment couldn't have waited till tomorrow, type of thing. That's true. He did say that. Yeah. He did say that, but he also tried to kill him later on when he still had a debt. So. I don't know. It, it could go either way, but you, you're right. He, he was like, yeah. he's like, man, you couldn't kill yourself like next week, bro. Like, what's up with you? Awesome. Mo, is, uh, Mo had mentioned this while we were all watching it. That dude really. What, what did you say? Like he, like he, he killed the monster, right? And then he took. Oh yeah. So he killed. He called. He. Uh, uh, this is kind of how. Like I, I, I really knew that. He was in a very fucked up situation. So he killed the monster. He pulls up. He's like, man, chopping trees gets you money, but killing monsters, that's where the real money's at. Slays him. And then homie comes through and homie's like, hey, man, he's, man, you do a great job, man. Anybody ever tell you how great of a job you do? Oh my God, I love you, kid. All right, so here's the pay. The pay for the job is 400000 But But you forgot a couple things. First, I saw you both. There's the manager fee, okay? The finder's then fee. There's, then there's my manager's fee. <laughs> and then, now, then I have my manager, you. but I don't, I, it doesn't matter to my tax write-off, so <laughs> you I still got to pay for it. I still got to pay for that shit, too. Then I saw you walk here, so there's that walking fee, all right? Then you're white, I saw, so there's property you're tax. Right? There's a fee on that. I don't like your hair color. How'd you get your hair? There's a fee on that. Let's see. What else was there? Oh, yeah, you're you was breathing? I want to make sure yeah. you can't have anything on that. So I think it's only fair. Uh, how's about how's about two dollars sound from the four hundred thousand? You cool with that? All right, good money. Oh, and make sure you have the rest of my money by next week. <laughs> yeah, you still, you, he said you still owe me. Okay, you still owe me. Oh, you Honestly, thought these fees came out the money you owed me? No, nah, these are just fees. It's crazy how the 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 mobs uh, 
greed got to them so much. Like, this was a pretty good gig. You get this guy to kill stuff, make all that money, give him five bucks. Is it crazy? I feel like that's kind of how the mob works. No, because <laughs> they, they, want, they want money, right? They want money. They had power. They just wanted more. Uh, even they didn't need to. They want more monies, more power. That's crazy, though. More they money, more problems. More money, more problems, you know? It's not enough. It's never enough. When is enough enough? So, like, we talked about all the positives of the show so far. Like, there's two things that me personally, I didn't really like about the show. There's a, there's a lot of CGI in it. And it, like, it's kind of distracting. And in the middle, like, when, with the with the scene with all the zombies, there was a lot of blood and a lot of gore. Like, I'm fine with a little blood and a little bit of gore, <laughs> okay, but there was a lot of blood man. and a there's lot of gore. Something. There's no way to kill something cleanly with a chainsaw. Yeah, it's but that was it. It seemed a little excessive. Like, I also I don't like how he starts the chainsaw with his chest. Oh, that's fire. I don't know. What do you like, mean? That's, that's what the dog's tail is. That's what the dog's You have to rep the rep it Listen, it could be like, I don't know. I don't, I don't like. It's just, it just makes me feel uneasy. You want to pull the cord from his butt? That would be just as bad. Like maybe his shoulder. Maybe he has it on his shoulder. Why his shoulder though? That'd be. Why would the dog go in his shoulder? Listen, maybe he just wants to be in his shoulder. Or his back. His his back. The back would be fine, even though it's a little. That just sounds hard to find. Like I can't reach certain parts of my. Yeah, you probably you probably wouldn't be able to pull it efficiently, but it is. Makes the most sense right there in his chest. It's just it just makes me uneasy. You're being attacked by something. And you're sitting there reaching for your back, listen, like, oh shit. Listen, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just. Turning in circles. I just. I just. I'm just. I'm not talking about optimization. I'm here talking about my uneasiness. Okay, that's it. Listen, Damn listen, zombie listen. walking up to you. You like pull my cord? <laughs> you get me? Pull, Bro, pull me, please. Two out of three of those complaints, I completely disagree with. Right, the blood. It's a freaking chainsaw, man. Getting a bunch of guys with blood. It's gonna happen. He's a chainsaw. There's nothing that. It's a chainsaw. That's what's gonna happen. The 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 tail thing. That's. I I think. It's optimal where he has it. Um, the CGI, though, interesting. Um, I do think that a lot of these things, like even the, the intro CGI had it. Not, yeah, I mean, but if if you do it well, it's fine. Because there's some really bad CGI and something. This one was fine. This one looked like it wasn't as like what's the word intrusive, invasive. It was it wasn't like as terrible. I'm just gonna put terrible. It wasn't as terrible. Like like you know, Black Summoner had CGI. The CGI there was actually done pretty all right for the the fights. But then there's like other yeah, animals. It was, for some of them, the first one versus the uh, the guard, I think that fight was good. But we'll, we'll whatever. At, later on, it became messy. But I think the CGI is okay. Like it's fine. And we know it's gonna happen as long as it's not that crazy compared. I think it's all right. Definitely, uh, I wasn't sure what I was watching when I saw the dude talking about selling his nut. I'm gonna be completely honest. I was like, hmm, what are we, what are we hype about this for? But. I liked it. The intro was really good. I don't know if y'all skipped it. Uh, I do not watch good. opening credits. Because they give spoils? Is that why? No, I'm just not here for that. <laughs> that boy skips right. He goes to the comments and goes right to... There's like there's like 30,000 comments on Twitter of the like... Hmm? Like there was like 30,000 comments on Twitter about the opening. It's like, oh my gosh, guys, look, there's, there's this scene from this movie. Like, okay, dude, like you're the millionth person to say this just retweet saying, just saying, retweet saying, just retweet the guy who originally said it the intro was really cool because it had just a bunch of stuff from other stuff i thought it was really cool yeah but just retweet it don't don't try to be original because you didn't see it you saw it from somebody else it's all right no. gotta gatekeep someone's opinion <laughs> oh i'm i'm gatekeeping it because i know that they didn't personally discover it someone told them about it's like it it's hard hard invested he literally put a chainsaw on one of his nephew's heads. All right, <laughs> he is completely he... out here. <laughs> he's he's completely out here. All right, and he's like he. That's why he knows that the uh, the saw in the front doesn't make sense. Because when he did it, he was like, "Nah, it I had to keep that shit in the back. <laughs> that shit is in the back of the neck area." This is this like, is it's not me, real. This is making me very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> <It's not real. laughs> I, I don't I, I'm okay I I, I thought the uh, I thought the the place of the the little ripcord makes sense because the the dog's in his chest 
He needs the dog to keep no, alive. No, I'm not saying it doesn't make sense. Dog, you know? I'm not saying it doesn't make dog, sense. Bro. It makes sense. I'm just saying. I'm just saying it hurts. It hurts to watch. I'm just saying it hurts to watch, dude. Oh, oh, got that dog in him. What'd you say? Hello? You guys, you guys are ridiculous. Also, what's up with the boss? Like, with a quick 180. With what? Oh yeah. The, the one day, one day he's like, "Hey guys," or "Hey bro, thanks for killing the monster." The next day, he's like, I'm, "I'm gonna kill you." He got possessed. Pos he chose. He chose that life. He chose it. He chose it. Yeah. That's what, that he was chose that life. He literally did. The, that's the whole thing was talking about. These guys are idiots. Like stupid humans. They gave up everything <laughs> for no reason. And then that scene, blah, 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 blah. And then he's in the dumpster. So, like, the beginning, I thought was really good. And then the middle is like, ah. Uh. And then it got to the part where he's in the dumpster. I was like, wow. This is, this is peak. This is phenomenal. Wait, what? He had that little bond with the dog. The little backstory, too. The flashback. Yep. Yeah, flashback. And then, uh... They became one D Digimon fusion evolution boom. They became one entity, and then uh, the agents come at the end, which is also a nice little scene there. I don't know why. I don't know why she hugged him, but okay. Because he asked. He asked for a hug. Yeah, but like this guy, this guy's dangerous, and she, she, maybe, maybe she. I don't know. Maybe it she, seems like she's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, she's she's very dangerous, but I don't know. It feels like she's a little more dangerous than he is. She she told him she's like, "Yo, I'm gonna kill you right here and now, or you can come through and have breakfast with me." <laughs> and he was like, "That's very tempting, considering my breakfast yesterday was the ashes of a cigarette." I don't. I also didn't understand that. Like, the, the breakfast. It sounded like it wasn't it really was trash, a breakfast. Right? It was it sound like a trash breakfast. Yeah, but bros used to sharing half a piece of bread with a dog. No, but I'm saying like it wasn't like, nah. like some of the some of the breakfast parts didn't sound Look like breakfast. Like some of it sounded like a lunch or dinner. Yeah, I'm, she was I'm, like, uh, I'm gonna get you. Let's see, hmm, butter with uh, no, yeah, but toast, bread with butter and jam. A salad. Yeah, a salad. Who eats salad for breakfast? Like, what, what is that? And then maybe a dessert afterwards? I don't know. Des yeah, dessert? What are we doing? Hello? For I breakfast? He looked like he was a starving chainsaw head. Yeah, but, like, you can eat a lot for breakfast without it having to ha having a dessert. I'm starving, and you're offering me bread with butter and jam and a salad? That's all she needed. That's not all I need. Listen, you, Hello? Joey, you were just saying he's got that dog in him, and you're giving a dog a salad. Yeah, bro, the dude. Joey knows damn well if if, if she would have offered that to him, Joey would have hit that shit out of her hand. <laughs> <laughs> he would he would have said, said, said kill me though. He would have said kill me right now. Kill me right now. Kill me. Kill me right now. You took the meal. You'd be like, yeah, thank you. Thank you, man. Oh, overall, I'm asking for a little bit more. I overall, eggs and shit, I give this a four point five out of five. For the first episode, that's me. That's my opinion. At the very least, I would need some peanuts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> At the very least, peanuts? AKA Anya San's favorite food. <laughs> oh, I thought you were about to go very different there. Hello. No, I thought you were about to go. Okay. I I give it four point five out of five. First episode. That was my segue. That was my segue. Okay. Oh, yes, uh... to... right, so we're segueing into the family. Week, really. Yeah, but yeah. Spy Family is at the bottom. Okay, dude. Because but... we're going off the Reddit ranking. All right. Reddit ranking. Reddit ranking. Spy Reddit's Family. Reddit ranking. So the next one is Spy Family. Did we talk episode two? Last week. I think we did. Been... Yes, because Ugh. it was Saturday. It would have been Saturday. Yes, yeah, so we, we talked Sunday, so it would have been episode two. So episode three is this week. Yeah, episode three, it fell off in terms of uh, the intensity, but mo uh, I talked about it in like... It the did? Intensity? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it wasn't, there wasn't any saving the world part in this, but yeah, I get, I get what you're saying, Chip. This is what you like. You said you like this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like it. But like, 
this Mo was right about this because I was like, oh, this season is about to be really intense. Like it's it's showing that direction, and then Mo was like, the first part, the first quarter was also like that. I keep saying season, but it's like not. It's the same season. But yeah, yeah uh, I remember the other day you just not. Oh, go on, sorry. Yeah, no, no, you go. I, I was done. I was gonna say you gotta remember the other day, like obviously, you know, he's supposed to save the world, but. Alina is like trying to figure out how she can help him, right? So she got to either get the stars or befriend it, so the dog helps. So yeah, it's it's gonna be less intense because it's also character building, figuring out the dog's name, <laughs> uh, which, like and everything too. Like the, all this stuff matters. So there's world building for this series. Also, I the name Mr. Dog was hard. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I, I think the one thing Mr. Dog was fire. Uh, I think the one thing I was like, okay, like I mean they could do whatever they want as a cartoon is fine, but when she kicked the car. Yeah, Bro, dude, I was I was Bro. laughing. I just laughed at that. I was like, "Are they serious right now? Come on, this is not, this is not Bro? super. Like, she can jump off and do whatever flip she wants, but would you kick a damn moving vehicle?" And then she's like, "Oh, it's a it's a housewife again, by the way." Yeah, I found the terrorist. No, I just yeah, it's just, do... it just happened to be a coincidence. That I was I here again. Him? He's standing right here. He's he's literally paralyzed right oh, here. Oh, I gotta go. By the way, like I I don't have time for this. Yeah. Just, I, gotta go catch my daughter. Just, I was like, okay, guys, come on. But I mean, to be fair, girl Wait, what do you mean? Powers, guy has see, uh, the girl can read minds. The, guy, the, the dog can see the future. But they've both been experimented on. Why is she super strong in that regard? Like, she's kicked people and done whatever, which obviously I think that's just an exaggeration for the show. Huh? Wait, she, did you not see the dodgeball episode? I did. I remember. I remember. And I remember she when put she her leg in, in the air. When it came down and she threw the ball, she took out a four. Yeah, this is consistency. It was just like, come on. Also, was, also, there's a there's a six year old. That's a giant. That was a giant six year old. <laughs> okay, but it wasn't a giant compared to the dad. <laughs> oh, the six. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that six year old. Was, no, I'd have been like, hey, what's up with him? What's up with him? Oh, Paul, I'm invited to 28 year old here. Hello? <laughs> yeah, I need to, I need to see a birth certificate. <laughs> yeah, I need his birth certificate right now. No, it's up not right with Obi. Yeah, and then they show his dad in the next scene, and then you're like, hold on one second. Something's not right with these people. I see, I see there are giants among no. us. Something's not right with these people. But it was, I mean, again, like I know she's super strong and everything, like, but I didn't realize it was there's a difference between kicking a ball, kicking a person, and kicking a moving vehicle at you. Yeah, like it, it's not like he slowed down. Like he, he was just <laughs> he's like, get out the way. <laughs> no, y'all not really understanding what I'm saying. She took a rubber ball and cleared a forest with it. That's possible. I can see it. Uh, I can see that. Where? Wait. I can see it too. I can see. Like, but wait, I think hitting a car, I think kicking a moving car is less impressive than taking a rubber ball and oh, chopping down the, the forest. The, 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 the structure, the structure. I've talked to you of, before. You don't know the structure integrity of these trees. It could have been planted. Think, it's hard to get rid of trees, okay? I've chopped trees too. You know, camping mow it? Did that mean I've it? gone camping before. You seen Chainsaw Man? Nice. Yeah, I saw Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man. Look. Chainsaw Man is coming, bro. This is like Chimpex said. Chimpex was giving me, uh, giving me credit for being right, which I appreciate that. This, uh, the first core, core one, started off kind of like this too. Came in hot, hot, hot. With the music and everything. What happened immediately? Boom! Anya san gets kidnapped. Some shit like that. Taken, gone. Taken. It, not even under the bed style, where she's like. Daddy, help! And then the kidnapper picks up the phone, and then he's like, "Ooh, I need look, fifty uh, million dollars. Fifty million dollars. Like, Who do you think you got? Let her go now, Chelsea and I'll Clinton? forget it all ever happened." Rush Hour One reference. But if you don't, I will find you. I, and I will show you. I don't know what show you're talking about, Trump. Rush Hour One. Never seen it. Chris Tucker. Um, what? Never heard of him. Okay. Damn but uh, oh. damn liar. But um. Yeah, the the original the original core core one started off hot as hell, and then after that it got into it's like it's a little slice of life thing. So I expected the same thing from here from this uh, core. We're gonna start off a little bit hot, a little fresh out the oven, and then we're gonna move right into the the slice of life, which which yeah, I feel like gonna, that's what everybody's here for. It's gonna be her trying to. I like the fact that she was like, I didn't get a star for saving the world, and the dad yeah. just like yeah <laughs> yeah it happens, bro. It happens. 
yeah he's like come, he's come like, on i can relate i can relate it's all right yeah. dude also the other thing like they're still it was still pretty deep because the handler was like talking about anya with with lloyd and she's like man i know about daughters and that, that was just, that was just sad that was the sad part because she was like i had a daughter at that age so it was like ah oh, her daughter probably died around that age especially like from the previous episode where she's talking about how like these kids don't know about war yeah yeah they don't they don't know the struggles and then she went like, like me. yeah she had like four different examples of like the darkest times the of body war. she caught along the way yeah. yeah she's like you don't know what it's like when you pull up in a tank and you gotta knock down a whole building or when you buzz down a door and with your with your daughter's eyes staring at you, yeah. <laughs> you know, the entire building, like yeah. When you buzz down a door and you have to massacre a family, you don't know what that life is like. It's like no, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like I'm yeah, sorry. I've been there. She's like, I know what that is. You have to dehumanize the enemy, and then the guy kills himself later because he's like, man, what I did was messed up. Spoilers. That was episode two. Who killed himself? She was telling a story about how a guy would uh would dehumanize the enemy, even make him seem like he's less than human, right? And he would right. do whatever he wants, like torture everything. And then nice. as time went on, he started going crazy because he realized that what he did was wrong, and then killed himself <laughs> or something. Oh, okay, or something. I don't know. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's a great yeah. guy. So this is the episode where she kicked the car, right? So after she kicks the car, they pull up, they pull up, they get back together. Nobody knows what happened. <laughs> Nobody knows Nobody, anything about what happened. Anybody. Nobody sees her kick the car. Oh, on the street? Nah, no. Be, she was uh, in the middle. Of the I swear people saw. Nah, she just, she jumped off the bridge, landed, and was like, <laughs> clean landing. Clean, Stop. clean landing. And then just a nice little, Nice little sidekick. Nice little turning sidekick. Boom. Boom. I, uh, Just take the I, I expect the next few episodes to be now that they have a name for the dog. Anya's going to go to the kid, talk about the dog's name. And eventually, we're going to get to that dude's house or they're going to hang out or whatever, right? Because, I mean, she'll find some crazy way to get the stars. But. So, yeah, I she goes back to school. Yeah. And then she's sitting there. She's talking to everybody. She's trying to figure out her dog's name. I thought uh, it's hard to name a dog. It's hard. It's hard to name. Well, how sure. did you come up with your first dog's name? Puka. We originally uh, Puka looked like the dog from Anastasia the movie. Literally looks like the dog from Anastasia the movie. That dog's named Puka. Evie looks like Evie. We named her Evie. It's pretty easy. I've never seen uh, Anastasia before. Uh, so yeah. you're telling me? So you're telling me your none of your names are original? I mean, they're original for dogs. From the real life, yeah. I mean, my, my, my I mean, she called her she called her dog Bond. So, yeah, like what you want from me, Mo? You? I, well, first of all, first of all, she was about to call. She was gonna call her dog, uh, uh, Inu, Lucky Vanilla Princess oh, the Third. True, true, true. I think she just basically took every dog's name, right? That's what happened. She took everybody else's dog's name and just combined them. I thought That's that like, was hard too. I thought that, I thought that was. Far. Oh, that was hard name too. I thought I, dog. I thought dog's name was dog just gonna be Borf. I thought that's what his name was gonna be. Yeah, Borf too. No, that's a trash name. Dang. Plus, I, I think like I already I think somebody has that name. All right, dude, you're a hater. Whatever. Like some rock star or something? Isn't that isn't that a rock star name? I don't I don't mess with rock stars. Hmm. Yeah, but she can't after talking to everybody, getting some info, which is. A smart way to do that, you know, gather info. That is true. That is true. And uh, when she lost her gloves, I thought I thought she lost her star. <laughs> I like how the dog pushed the. Uh... Oh, yeah, me too. I did actually as well. I like how the dog pushed the other dog. Hey, yo, give me. Yeah, give me them gloves back, homie. <laughs> give me them gloves before I come over there. Take them gloves out your mouth. I need them. And hands. the lady, classic, classic old lady, can't they? Yeah, Karen. Oh, Karen. My dog. Standard Karen act. Screaming and yelling. Hey, Shut your ass up. Shut up. You didn't see what your dog did. You're just letting your dog walk around with some gloves in his hand. Not Give me them questions. gloves. Now I want your gloves too. Take your gloves off. Give me those pearls as well. 
Give me oh shit. Now we should have robbed her. Okay. Oh, no. Let's go, Joey. Let's go. Give me everything. Overall, though, excited about the rest of the season. You know, it's great. This season has, I mean, we talked about it in here in the chat, but like, there's so much stuff to watch. It's insane. Well, for you guys, I. I'm not watching all that. I know you're you're giving up some of the best stuff this season. Oh, we didn't even say with her name. The, and of course, the dogs. I love the name the dog came up with at the very end. That oh, she came up with the dog Bond. Wait, we did say that. Chip Great dog. Did you say that? that? Yeah, when we were talking about Joey's name. You're like, oh, well, she did name him. You're not an original, Bond. and I was like, well, she didn't name Bond. There's like Bond man, James Bond. Not copyrighted. Is what it is. Bond. Yeah, Bond. It's a very, it's a clean name. Also, my boy Damon's yeah. got a crush on her for real, for real, for real, yeah, for real. Huge. Yeah, for real, for real. And and real. and he should. That's what that's what I like to see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes when you, when you got you got your little crush going, it's okay. It's okay to give to give the feelings. He was like, uh, he actually asked her. He was like, "Yo, so what's what's your dog's name?" <laughs> she was like, "Dog." <laughs> He's like, all right, I ain't doing this. I ain't doing this shit with you. I'm out of here. <laughs> he said a dog is wasted on you. Yeah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> He's trying he to be nice to her. He was like, oh no, I'm out. I'm out of here. Uh, I can't believe I actually cared for a second. This girl <laughs> said, "Mr. Dog." She didn't even say that. She Dude, just said, she, "Dog." If she said, "Mr. Dog," freaking hard. Probably rolling. Mr. Hart, Mr. Dog would have been so fire too because like it, it works with his outfit at the end too. You know the the collar that's the 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 tux or no the tux um the bow tie. But if his name is Mr. Dog, then technically his name is Dog, right? True. Very it's true. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's Mr. Dog. It's a title. Oh, the the uh, end by the way. Uh, like Doctor. The yeah. end. Like I said, the whole thing. The or like a pimp. At the end of the episode, the dog is like experiment eight. And uh, yeah, he was getting he was getting abused. Anya is 007. Hmm, connection maybe, maybe there. I don't, I don't. Ooh, I don't, I don't think Anya is 007, but okay. I don't like, I like this. It. No, she was I seven. Like this. I like it. She was seven. Chibek said I completely disagree with you, but what? I like this. It's a mojo set, excuse me. She was I'm seven. Like, she was literally seven. So it's 007. Like literally, if it's se seven, could be translated to 007. It's literally the same number. Okay, a little bit of a reach. Okay. It's not a reach. It's not a reach. I'm literally I'm not reaching. I'm literally stretching. I'm, I'm literally stretching my arms. That's so. on the bottom shelf. That's right there. It's not reaching. All right. No reach at all. I like what you said, Chip. Thank you. You know who doesn't have to reach for anything? Who? Mob from Mob Psycho because he's psychic. I thought we can't segue to that because Chip is on season one. Episode four. Episode two. Episode two. You know who? You know who else is? Doesn't have to reach for it. <laughs> like the dude from Blue Lock because <laughs> they have good legs. And... Yeah, you know who does have to reach the dude from Blue Lock because he can jump sixty centimeters in the air. <laughs> That's a not a lot. It's not that much. It's not a lot. What's sixty centimeters jumping? Let me translate that to inches real quick. Wasn't it like? Yeah, give me the American number. Oh, centimeters is American, but no, that's not American. <laughs> that's uh twenty three inches. That's nothing. What the hell? Two feet. That's actually, yeah, that's actually nothing. It's twenty three inches, dude. To have a twenty three inch vertical is not a lot. That's pretty is average. It, is it a lot? Yeah, that's like average. Right? How about average? I definitely just jumped in my room. Yeah, I got more than twenty. You think you got two feet? Okay, I don't think. I, well, actually, I have no idea what two feet are. I, I'll be standing. Like, oh, yeah. Standing. Listen, we we're we're on episode two. Let's let's go back to episode one. Episode one was I, I peak. Was, we didn't talk about. We talked about episode one. No, we didn't. We didn't. We, didn't, we watched it after. Okay. We had literally watched it right after the ep the episode last time. No, you did. Okay. We both watched it beforehand. Oh. We had yeah, all as a unit. Yeah, okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Dude, episode one was amazing. Starts out the show with with a little with a little dang. Is it team or is it me? And he's like, he passes the ball and he misses. He chokes like it was the easiest. It was the easiest goal of his teammate's life, and he chokes it. it wasn't that easy? It was pretty. It was pretty easy. He set him up beautifully. It was like a CTC ghost. 
It's me in the back telling him what to do. Yeah, exactly. And then he missed it. And then he's 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 kind of questioning himself, right? Or is he like, no, team is the way to go. Team is the way to go. And this clearly matter, right? Because if this is a third year's final thing. And this is like, you know, that's it. Because everybody was crying. It's like, I guess we're not going to nationals this year. Or any year. Type of thing. Right? Yeah. No, you're right. I don't right. remember. I don't really remember. I, he was in third year in high school? Not him. But there were third years on his team. Yeah. That were crying. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. You're, you're not going to be in the playoffs. And then he he's at his school or something, and like little kids are there. Or but I don't I don't really remember the scene, but like he's talking about how teamwork is the way to go. Like he's like reassuring himself of that, and he's like starts getting emotional, and the kids <laughs> kids get freaked out. Is that like, picking on him? Like, Yo, this guy's weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why are you walking down the street crying, bro? What's wrong with you? Then your house is still your own time. Oh, come on, bro. Try the tears up. Johnson and Johnson, no more. Johnson and Johnson. You still cooking, Chip? Bro? Keep cooking. Uh, yeah, give me the story and stop. All right. So then he goes back home. He's with his pops and his moms. He talks about how. Did did, did he get a letter? Then or maybe he got it later. But he's talking to his moms and pops. And then... What do you mean, letter at the end? He got the letter when they were eating dinner. He, got, he gets this letter. He's like, oh, let me check this place out. He sees his rival. The guy who busted him up. That's the worst, bro. When you got a rival, but you don't even know... They don't even know you're their rival. Damn. No, no. He knew. He knew. He's like, hey, you know my name? He's like, yeah, you're the dude who gave us the wish. <laughs> Oh, is that who the? Because honestly, I, I kind of like skipped maybe about like five six minutes. I was doing something else while I was watching it. So they, he knew him. They yeah, knew he, each other. Yeah, they. It was like they, they just played. they just played. played. Just they just played. Oh, he had just lost to him. Yeah, he's the guy that beat him. Oh no wonder he kicked him in the face then. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How you feeling now? You feeling big about that win now, huh? Can we, can we talk right. about the animation? The animation was like, beautiful. Can, the animation was good. The animation was good. And then at the end, can. that's when it got real nice. At the very Wait, end. are you done cooking? Are you, are you still you still cooking this episode out? And then and then and then he's like the guy the ego ego comes in and is like, Hey man, we need some warriors here. We need egos, we need alphas. Cause Japan is not nice. Japan is not nice like with me. it. <laughs> yeah, we need we need Messi, we need Ronaldo, we need uh, hey, Neymar, we need all that type shit. We need Christopher Moitz. Yeah, and everybody was like, "Nah, nah, you tripping, cause you tripping, cause." And then he said something, and Except this for homie, homie was sitting there like, "Hold on a second. Is I don't know his name. name. I don't really know his name, but Blue. I'm gonna call the main character Blue Lock. <laughs> blue, yeah, I'm gonna call him Blue. I'm gonna call him Blue. Blue was like, I'm Blue. Hey, man." I'm about this life, and he comes running. His name is Blue. I agree with that. Let's keep going that the entire season. <laughs> Blue, 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 Blue is like, yeah. dang, I messed with this. I messed with your vision. And he comes running, and everybody's like, hey, this dude messes with the vision? All right. If he's, he's, if he's going, I'm going. So hey, everybody else is like I a know. follower. When they're saying lock off, is that fuck off? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. that's, that's what he's saying. He's saying, get out. Get, out. get out of my school. So real, real quick, real quick, right? Because you just basically talked about the dude locked him out. Right, what would you have done? What would you have done? Listen, when when, he, when that when that guy is done? injured, and I'm out here trying to trying to improve oh. myself, I'm not hitting the injured guy. I'm trying to I'm trying to prove myself. No, 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 no dude. Oh, that's the question. Listen, listen, you're still improving yourself, right? Because you have to be able to hit a non-moving target to score the goal. That's the whole reason why they lost, right? I'm blasting so, homie into the next universe. That's what I'm saying Ooh. the ball's going right off that dude's face. I'm blasting homie into the next universe. He gone. Yeah, I don't, dude. You don't need to always attack the strongest to be the strongest, right? You need to survivability is very important in these, right? Survivability is important overall, and you can get yourself there, and you can learn more. Get at the get out the whack, dude, and keep playing. I feel like. Also, we learned in the following episode that it wasn't even a guaranteed win if he hit that guy because the dude had one second to flip his entire body and react, 
and kick the ball into somebody else. Oh, well, that guy, well, that guy, like, that guy is not hitting anybody. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I love Holmes being like, why'd you give up on the play, bro? Literally, Jackie Chan, that shit. Turn yeah, your body. You had 0.2 seconds. We know yeah. that the brain takes at least, you know, a little bit more than that to register what you want to do. He's but like, it's, it's your like, fault. You're so fucking slow. Why didn't you just react quicker? That dude was on the floor. I love it. He's like, that dude was on the floor. You could have hit him. Yeah, he right there next to you. I heard you him give up on the play. Like, oh, like okay. why? Like, why? 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 So why? not only... Not only is my career over as a soccer player, but I have to sit here and listen to you roast me too. That is true. That is that dude was pissed off. He's like, "Hey man, <laughs> dude, his face at the end right before he left, I thought he was about to hit him." He can't. He can't do that. He's he's. Uh... Why not? The other guy literally hit the other guy in the face with his foot. So. But that was part of the game. That was during the game, though. Oh yeah, yeah nobody called it. Yeah, it was regular cool shit. You know, regular shit. We kick you in your fucking chin. It's, when the game's over, though, it's time for you to leave. Log off. <laughs> yeah, get up out of here, boy. Lock off, bro. Lock off. Yeah, lock off. That's so funny, dude. I don't know. The second episode, second episode was a little, a little slow for my taste. Really, it was to let us understand what's going on, right? First episode jumps us right into the the mix. Second episode, we kind of have backstory. Of what the hell is actually happening here? Like the dude just said, here, you're in this group. Go play. Do this tag. That's it. You're out. Right now we understand they're training each other. We got to see our dude. We got to see our dude at a low compared to everybody else, which is obviously going to set up when he goes crazy in the next episode. Right? When he goes crazy. When his little monster comes out and he helps beat those other hey, dudes. Mo. Come you on. You know Mo. exactly. Mo, what Mo, Mo, come on, come on, brother. Hey yo. You know exactly <laughs> what I heard. Hey, keep your little monster. Also, how is how is how is how is, how is he two seventy four? <laughs> He didn't, he, he, didn't didn't go, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't go up a single bro, rank. After you, yeah, after you got somebody out, that's wild that you don't get up a single rank. Like this is literally your exam, and nobody else did anything. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny that the dude actually thought he went up. I was like, hold on one second. Listen, I, I, I knew, I, I knew, me, I knew that dude was that dude was too happy. I knew, I knew he didn't go foot. up. I broke my foot and sat on the, uh, sat on the floor. But and somehow, yeah, and somehow your rank goes higher. Okay, dude. No, he, he he didn't think about it for a second. He's like, man, a bunch of people left, but I guess I guess the rank is still out of three hundred. Hmm. That shit didn't even cross his mind. Only only twelve of them in this room. Also, do you think I it's like, uh, do you what? do you think it's ethical for the best players to have the best treatment? I mean, because you don't want to the worst treatment, bro. What if they, you don't want them eating the cigarette butts and everything? Like, how are they gonna survive and be better? That that is true, but like, how are like. What's the point of the facility if the worst people are going to have the worst treatment? This is what what this, that's how, that's how, I want to know what I you mean, mean by ethical. I mean, it's just, a right. Yeah, this yeah. is right, is what he's saying. Basically, it's like right. morally? So, look, this is the way, yeah, yeah. Ethically, morally, whatever. So he's saying, basically, dude. Why not? People, Strategically, ethically, them, I don't know. The best equipment, dude. The best people, you give them the best equipment, right? So they're they're working super hard with this best equipment. And this they had some crazy stuff there. They had like some cryogenic, yeah. uh, like ice baths and stuff like that. So or whatever it was, so their cryogenic therapy, whatever it's called, um, you give them the best because they're they're training the you're gonna train them the hardest because they are the best. And then you have these people who are the worst that you are trying to get them claw their way to the top because that's how they're gonna teach them. The best people are the best for not because they're the best soccer players, but also their ego is probably crazy. Like remember the guy that we just got introduced to, uh, the, the Japanese dude who wanted to go to Germany. Yeah, I'm gonna call him uh, Redlock. So Bang. we got introduced to Shanks. And yeah, Shanks is a good one too. Shanks. So we got introduced to Shanks here. And um, and then you know that dude is obviously one of the better ones, so he's gonna play like he's already good, right? And he already has the ego that he needs. Wait, so, are you saying it's right or wrong? I'm saying it's it makes sense for the whole situation. No, 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 no. Are you saying it's right or wrong? I think Shonen Lee. I think no, 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 no. That's not what we're asking. Stop, stop, stop hiding. Are you saying it's right or wrong? No, I think it's bad. I think it's bad in real life, right? I think it's bad in real life. It sucks that most people don't get I mean, opportunities, but I think for the sense of the show, it makes sense for what they're what they're what they're trying to breed out of the people, basically what they're trying to like make come out of the people. The monsters are literally trying to make them come out of them and, and be greedy and be the best. It makes sense for what they're doing. In real life, I think this would be okay in real life. Opportunity. Opportunity. I don't. I don't think Outside it makes sense in the show because if you're not being fed properly, you're not going to have the same performance. 
but you're gonna work and claw your way to the top. Wait, but not be basically, fed properly. it's a, they, they're not they're not unfed properly. They had rice, yeah, they yeah. have their soup, and they have whatever side they have with it. Yeah, but it's yeah, not. You're just, you're just you're, dude, if you're if you're, you're doing that, you're, what you're basically telling you, they're reinforcing you, right, to say, hey, okay, you do better here, you get better stuff. You even get to see in your own people, right? You give the people that had the whatever they had to do that had the, the dumpling. I thought that guy was going to kill the other guy, by the way. Me too. <laughs> I heard that he was going to kill the other guy. And then you have, obviously, we learned the people the best are doing their best because you they're already good. You're trying to pick out, you're trying to find the best out of the already incredible people. He literally said these people are bad at soccer. Like, he called them bad. Yeah. Which, which is crazy to me, but it's all the best. Also, the white haired dude, he went to the he's he's in the playoffs, and he's he's in Z. He was in the playoffs, but he was in like the he no no he he was making his way to nationals. That was basically like the high school club thing you do, that you get into nationals or whatever the hell it is or inter whatever. Inter high. Yeah, I don't know. It's something like that. Whatever, dude. Wait, Chimba, did you think right or wrong? I didn't hear you. Uh, the only thing that I would think is weird is that, like, the people that are treated the best, like, sometimes your ego, like, you, you want a good ego for this, right? But, like, sometimes your ego no, will make it. No, we don't want a good ego. We want your ego to be out of control. Yeah, what I'm saying is that, like, sometimes you might get lazy with it because, like, oh, I'm the best already, so I don't need to work as hard. But but that's the only thing. There's a good chance of you being dropped down. But that's also why, yeah, that's why this the competitive aspect of it. First off, the reason people even join is because of the hype discussion he had in the beginning. Right? He's like, you suck and you'll never play. Also, but if you do this, you'll do, you'll do well. It's, it's kind of crazy how Blue, Blue Lock was the first guy to say, yeah, I'm in, even though he's like rank Z. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, like, there's people that are, that are in A or is it? Is there even an A rank? Because I'm pretty sure. B, no, it's, it's B to Z. Yeah. People it's a to Z broken into five categories, so I, I don't know what alphabet they're using, but yeah. 25 group, yeah. Uh, oh, that's true, that's true. Uh, so, so rank B, like, no, nobody in rank B was, was, was like, all right, I'm in, like, blue, blue had to be the first, all right, dude. Blue had that monster, mm -hmm. and like Joey said, he brought his little monster out in front of everybody, <laughs> and that shit was a uh, that shit told him what to do. But I, I I really like how it's like setting up to like there's there's a there's a game immediately after the second episode, like there better be a game there better be a game. I think the <clears throat> this question of uh, right or wrong, the morality of the situation. I don't I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with what they're doing. I think I think it's actually a, a, a I don't know I don't, I don't think because the there it's fucked up in the part where it's like yo. If you fail out here, hey, don't even think about trying. Hey, you team Japan? No, you're don't even. Make it. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, play yeah. on team bottom of the ocean. You Which is not true, by the way, because they could change their position from strikers to anything and still potentially make it, right? Like, no, he said. And no, he didn't say you won't play as a striker. He said you'll never play for team Japan. Don't even. Yeah, think most of them, most of them were playing for team Japan anyway. Let's be real. They're going to go into high nationals and then. I mean, they're kids because like yeah, there's a huge like, lead. They're like fourteen. They're like fourteen. Yeah, he's completely ruining their lives. And then afterwards, he's just like, uh, at, but the the whole thing with it being like, you have to earn your way up. It's kind of it's kind of real because if you if you really good in your profession, you're gonna see more perks. You're gonna see more benefits. Things like that are gonna pop up for you. But I mean, there's also like on the flip side, right? There is. Um... There's people who are really good at what they do and they just don't get the same opportunities as other people. That's literally how life is. The life, like, there's, there's, and that's there's, what's happening. Like, yeah, I mean, that's it. That's it. It's that's what's saying. It's literally showing the unfairness of life. And I mean, I, I don't like it personally, right? I do think that if you're really good at something, you should be rewarded for what you do. Obviously, this is what that doing, but I don't think you should start from the piss per poor dirt. But they're not. At the same time, they're eating rice and miso soup. So this, also, isn't like a, this is also like it's not a job or anything this is them trying to cultivate talent so you can't you can't put it like to the same expectations as you would have like uh, they're not getting the same opportunities or anything like that because this this does have a, a goal in mind where it's like we brought these people in we're trying to cultivate talent raise it up and get the best single individual from this group of 300 that we can and the best way to do that is survival of the fittest. Yo, who's trying to who's trying to be top dog here? You trying to be top dog? Let me hear you bark. Bark for me. No. 
I think Whitelock might turn into Should a I villain. No barks? No barks. I think Whitelock That's might turn into are. a villain. That's why they would kick you out. Alright, dude. I, 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 I'm just not hitting the handicapped person. You think, you, think, you think at the end, they're going to reveal Group A, which were the original people that came out, and they're hungry to win because they've literally been suffering for weeks so that they can't do their dream? Like something like that? Because you say Whitelock's going to be a villain, and he's gone. <laughs> no, he, he marched out of there. He was mad. How's he going to be a villain? He's gone. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm asking. Is that what you think is going to happen? Like you think there's going to be a secret group A? No, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think the people that are eliminated are going to be group A. Then how is White Lock going to be a villain if, he's, if the entire enemy is going to be this dude in Blue Lock in, in the actual place? Maybe after Blue Lock, post Blue Lock. Oh, okay. He's going to run down. Him? He'll hold. This is going to turn into a, a terrorist show. <laughs> it's just going to get dark real quick. It's going to be uh, after Blue Lock becomes. Number one, blue luck. Ah, oh, his dream is gonna get cut short. Yeah, I can see that. A lot of people's dreams get cut short. Just like kind of like in a uh, Bochi the Rock. Which one is that? What's next? Fuck, I don't. Know. What's next? My hero? Have we seen my hero? I mean, you know we have. Uh... Yeah, I know I have. So what, what's Go up? Back? What's up? What's up with my hero? What's up with Deku? What's he up to? No, nothing about my hero, for sure. Yeah, that's why he's asked about Deku. Like, Deku's even in this episode. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. I don't even know who that is. Never seen him before. That's fine. We'll skip, we'll skip. We'll yeah, skip but that. what about he what about his... Emoji. What about All for One? All for One, One for All. Yeah, bro, all my... Just, just we can run through my hero real quick, Joey. The, the he's he's not going to talk about Bochi, right? I mean, uh, you, you guys can talk about Bochi because there's two people. Like, go, so that's go, what I'm saying. Go. We can talk about my hero real quick, too. I know, but Bochi was next on the list, so you might as well do it now. Damn, Bochi, no, Bochi is higher than my hero. hero. Uh, no, my okay. hero. Almost. All right, I mean, I'm enjoying the season a lot. Like, I mean, like that to just keep it. Uh, what we talked about last time, really sick. What we saw, uh, Charge Bolt do, and then this time, I thought it was cool how everything was revealed, and you saw twice kind of lose it. He had like that emotional moment with the hero and everything. Did he lose it, or did he gain control? Well, he, I don't know. I feel like I feel like that talking out with Hawks really like reaffirmed his feelings in his friends. So he was like, you know what? I don't need you, Hawks. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Who are you? Who are you anyway? You don't know me. All right. I live this shit. Those are my friends. I roll with them. Just because you think you think you know better than me. You think you. You think I could have been a good? You you feel bad for me? I feel bad I feel for you. Bad. I feel bad for you, Hawks. Living a lie. I'm living my truth over here. And then, then Dobby ran in and burnt both of them. Dobby ran in. He's he's like I don't give a fuck. He burnt he burnt him and then high five on the way out. Nice job, sir. <laughs> but but he, I can see his logic because he was like he's like I know how you heroes work. You, you wasn't gonna let him die. Not gonna let twice die, and then ten seconds later, Hawks comes through and stabs twice, fifty times. And he's like, "Get up!" Which <laughs> is like, wait, but like, wait, why did you save him from the fire? Then hold on, let him die there. Yeah, but he's like, you, you didn't want to let you. Him it's die. my, I'm the hero. Right, I need this. This is my confirmed kill. It's like Call of Duty. He had to pick up his tags afterwards. <laughs> All right, Hawks, you got that. So Hawks did what he had to do, sliced Tony down, sliced down twice. Twice as he's bleeding out, goes up and slices down another hero, saving his friends. So really fulfilling his mission at the end. I feel like twice had a good end. And this all this did was prove to me that once again, good and bad guy is about whose perspective you're looking at. This is the Eins of Gone argument again where it's like yo whose perspective are we looking at here who's really the good guy and who's really the bad guy because it could be argued that hawks was acting like a bad guy yep history is written by the winners feel me so it, it you there there's a case that hawks was being a bad guy there and that twice was actually being a good guy twice is looking out for his homies twice is nice yep that's what i always say what you think, Joey? i can see it they're definitely just all about perspective. I think in this one, they're they are uh, they are 
classified as villains. Uh, who said they're villains? Who said the media? Um, the League of Villains? <laughs> they the media? Themselves? The media? The they literally classified themselves as villains? Before? No, they didn't classify themselves. As, they got classified as villains and they took that name. They took that name and they had to, they, they no, flipped it. They took it. that name and they made the old name, bro. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. They took the power back in that name. Yeah, this the this exactly the new media. This, and it's not what you think. It's the new media. <laughs> I know exactly. I know what exactly mean? what you're trying to say. What do you mean what I'm what I'm trying to say here? You know exactly what you're trying to say. You know exactly what you're trying to say. This is not those, the same. Those this... slave owners put a name on them, all right, and they're taking back the power of that name. I don't see what's wrong with being like, yo, yeah, you know what? I am the villain. <laughs> Yeah, now what? Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. That's me. I'm the villain. Call me the bad guy. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes you got show niggas that you willing to take it there. You gonna put that shit? You gonna put that dirty juju on me? Hey, now is it right that they're going around killing people? No. no that's okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 I guess it's all about perspective, though. That's a little. That's a little fucked up. But it, I agree with you. It still is all about perspective. Why they kill that person? Maybe they had to die. I don't know. I wasn't there. Maybe they had to die. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Look, sometimes I'm just saying, sometimes to save. I'm saying it's a nice little point of view. Sometimes to save the world, you have to take a life. That's all I'm saying. That's all Mo's saying. That's a. Hey, hey, George Bush did it. Well, I'm. Oh, he is George Bush a villain? He's he's a war criminal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a war criminal. <laughs> I would agree with that. Fuck, I've been using the wrong example. So <laughs> yeah, bro. Is he? Oh, he is. Is George Bush a villain? Well, he just started a couple wars. What's wrong with Ted? Regular shit. More than that, but yeah. Um, yeah, my hero. Perspective. My hero was good. It, it was it. Like I said, I, I feel like it was just like a, like a little perspective episode where it, they try to make you feel for the villains type shit. You know how it goes. Well, it makes sense too because we had just had the villain arc in the previous season. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Pretty where, uh, where we had the where we had the build up, and we got to see their, them actually evolve as characters, both development wise and also uh, power wise. Noriok. Nor Thank you. Noriok. Exactly. What's the word I'm called? Glad you so I'm glad you watch it. What, what's quirk? It's called Todoroki. It's called Todoroki. How do you say quirk? Uh, the way you're saying it. No, like quirk. Nor yeah. Noriok. Like how do they say it? Quirk. Yeah, power. Noriega? Power, Noriok. I don't. I don't know what they actually say. But whatever. Quake. <laughs> I don't know. I don't speak Japanese. Okay. Yeah. I just know some words. But yeah, overall. But you know who does okay. speak Japanese? Not Boshi. She doesn't speak at all. Thank you. No, Boshi doesn't speak at all. So episode Which one. Boshi the Rock is a very comfy. Are we talking anime. about episode one? We didn't talk about episode one. We didn't talk about Bochi the Rock is a very comfy anime. I go, I go in my bed. What word you say? Comfy. Comfy. Okay. Okay. Comfy, cozy. It's like it's like a, it's like a chill night, 40, 50 degrees outside Fahrenheit. You're in your you're in your blanket, tucked in. You got the heater on, pillows. This is, the anime. Oh. is this what it is? No. This, this is the anime. This is this is this, is this is the feeling. This is the feeling that it gives you. That it gives me. I don't know what chip has talking. I'm tucked in. I got warm blanket in. The heater is on. This is why you're not watching the other stuff, bro. You're taking too long just to watch the damn anime. Bro, it's tucking his no, head, putting the heater Chimp on. Chimpak and Bochi relate. They they are the <laughs> they are they're they're twinning. They he, are twinning. She just like me for real. Listen. I like it because I don't I me I like it because this is not like I, I kind of, I kind of see where she's coming from, but I've never fully been there. Like complete, I'm not socially anxious. I just don't like fucking with people like that. Oh, she, that's, she, that's she is extreme on the spectrum. She is, I mean, she is out there. She's like, yo, I'm not talking to nobody. She's closed in, but it's kind of, it's that, it's one of those animes where you know the main character not talking, closed in, lonely, and then somebody comes and brings them into their world. Like yo, come, come with me. Let's have some fun type shit. Come with me, and we'll see. There's a world. Yes. I also like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate. It's a nice, it's a nice music anime. 
I like her. I like the character designs of all the characters. Uh, not really much happens. Like she goes, she meets with. The, she's like all alone in school. Every episode day. one. What, how, how did the episode start? Young, youngin. Youngin. She's all young life. All by herself. She has no lonely as fuck. No, she has nothing going on for her. She has Literally no hobbies. Going on for her. No hobbies. She doesn't <laughs> enjoy anything. Nothing. She's with her pops watching TV. This guy pulls pulls out a guitar. He's like, "Whoa, that's dope, pops. Can I this use your guitar?" Like, no, he was like, the guy was like, the guy was like, ah, whoop de whoop. Yeah, back in middle school, because they were asking about their school life. He was like, yeah, back in school, like I wasn't popular at all. Like I was, I used to be the dude in the corner doing nothing. Scared to talk to people, you feel me? Like have my head down. But then I, jo I joined a band and my life turned around completely. I started getting hella girls and hella money, and you feel me? Like life's great now. And she was like, "Damn, I want girls and money." And she was like, "Dad, can I use your guitar?" And Dad was like, "Of course you can. Go grab that shit." And she then, like, and then what she it. did, what she did was absolutely beautiful. She learned how to play the guitar. She's very efficient at it. She racked up thirty thousand subscribers, and now she's. she's and now she's, she's on. To find a band, remember? She's yeah, like, I'm gonna go join a band. She's about to join a band. Um, Never did. She's about to go to high school. She has zero friends. Nobody yeah. knows her. Nothing. She nobody doesn't talk. Me. Literally talks to nobody. She's has no presence. She was like, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> you know how I'm gonna get him? I'm gonna bring the guitar to school. <laughs> she brings. Don't have to talk to me. <laughs> she brings <laughs> the guitar to school. <laughs> And nobody talks to her. It's the same thing. Why would anybody talk to you? Nothing changed. Nothing changed. You didn't do nothing different. They I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of, I kind of did stuff like that in elementary school too. And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. There's your relationship. Cool, bro. No. There's your relationship. Like, I would, I would bring, I would bring my, like one time I missed the bus, playing basketball, like in a, in my, there's a park in my neighborhood that I just played basketball in, which is like a couple, like a quick walk away from the bus stop. And right. I missed the bus one time and I just brought my basketball to school with me with, because, uh, I listen, if I missed the bus, I started crying because I knew that I would have a stern talking to from my parents. And they were like, They're man, I was like, why did you miss the bus? You literally like, it's, it's very hard to miss the bus. Like, you, like, if like they wake me up on time, to ensure me ensure that i go to school and then, like my dad has work that he has to go to this is this is deep i'm sorry anyways i i go they to school were, they were gonna beat you with a rug basically exactly and Instead so having you beat the rugs out i know how it goes you don't know how it goes i know how it goes all right anyways i've been in, i've been in i've been in some indian households i know how it is all right but yeah Bochi, Bochi this is a good is just like me for real. Bochi's just like how do you me for get, real. How do you get? How do you make friends? How do I make friends? Yeah, how do you guys make friends? Most of, most of my friends that I make are friends of friends now. I don't really make friends. You know, a friend maker. I'm not. Like, I'm not really. I'm not really a friend maker. I just talk to people. I'm, I have no problem talking to people, so I just, hey, how are you? Cool. Hold a good conversation. I'm is that, really... that friendly? Like, have you? When's the last time you made a new friend? Uh, I need a new friend. I guess I'm not talking online. You talking about in person? It doesn't. Yeah. I don't. Friends is friends. Online, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm making friends every week. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Now we're going into another, another good conversation. What's actually your friend? Who is actually your friend? I can say you who, guys are my friends. Who are the people that you just talk to? And you'll say what's up every once in a while. And who are the people that are actually your friends? If what's Chin your... Pack, if Chin Pack's leg was cut off non bloodily, right? Just non bloodily is cut off. No gore because that would throw him off. That would that would make zero me throw with, 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 with the chainsaw. With a right. very clean chainsaw. <laughs> straight clean chainsaw. Clean, just if he straight off. And he needed money. I would give him what I could, and I would stream to help him. That's why I consider a friend. Wow. Now, if it was bloody, it's a different story. Yeah, it's a, it's a completely different story if it's bloody. Because I don't even know how I would handle it. Listen, I can deal with blood, like, in person. Actually, never mind. Calm down. Okay, look, it was a little <laughs> joke. A friendship. Friendship. <laughs> Stick with her. <laughs> how, what, do you, what makes a real friend for you? 
Uh, How do you know somebody's a real friend? You just talk to them about stuff that you don't talk to other people about. Like what? Like stuff that you're example. just stuff that you're just holding back. Give me an example. I'm not giving you an example of stuff that I'm holding back. Give me an example of something you're holding back. Why would I? Why would I share it with the world? It's not the. It's not the world. You should. You should share it with me and Julie, your friends. Listen, I. I. But no. I think a real friend is somebody that. <clears throat> it's kind of like what Joey said. Like, it's not, like if something happened to you, I would look out for you. Like I would do with. I do whatever was in my power, to try and look out. Like whatever I could. Yeah, you having or, a bad day? Talk to him. Having a bad day, like, I somebody like I feel like they could reach out to me and talk to me. A little venting, yeah. a little venting. No like among maybe, us. Maybe you got some girl problems going on. Yeah, you just talk no, about it. Talk yeah, about I agree. it. I don't think you need. I don't think my. I don't think good friends, best friends, whatever, don't need to talk every day, right? If it's someone that I could pick up with at any time of the day or any any day, whatever, and we'll go right back to just like talking like we were. We talked every single day, high school, whatever. We saw each other. That's a real friend to me. I think you got to talk at least like two, three, at least monthly, at the very least, because people change quickly. So you don't talk for so long, people change, and eventually it's not the same person that you became friends with. It could be, but I don't know. For me, well, my best friend lives two floors up now, but there were sometimes we didn't talk for like two, three months just because we were busy with real life. We go hang out, play video games, laugh, and do everything like we always did. It was the same old, same old, same old. Yeah. I don't think. Oh, nah. Chevek and you guys, I, I consider both of you and a lot of the people in the group, if not most of them, are like lifelong friends, right? And we don't have to talk daily. No, I don't fuck with you niggas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, don't, I don't know. I, I think you can, you can have a long break and still be friends. And, and I think you can have a long break and still be very good friends, too. I don't... People seem to think that you need this constant... This is not anime. Uh, people seem to think that you need oh, well, this, this, is a good constant, thing. this constant talking, this constant, they need to be there, right? But I don't think that's necessary. Everybody everybody has their own thing. Everybody grows up. Everything goes up. I can't talk to Mo every second of the day because Why not? Mo is working. You're working. You won't call respond. Me. Call me. I'll, I'll pick up. Yeah. I'm not going to call you when you're doing your job. All right. Gator, that, you literally that, that sounds weird. You literally lit your pants on fire one time. I'm not gonna and that was the old job. I'm not gonna call you while you were doing your job. You're insane. Real and true. I have. I have done this. He did the picture in the chat too and everything. I was like, bro, this I was on fire fire. This guy's insane. Why did he just stop drop and roll as kids? I don't think it works, right? What can yeah, it... yeah, I agree with you guys. I, I agree. Friendship. Friendship is a no, it, Mo, it, it, no don't touch the question. Mo, do not touch this question. Did you st just stop, drop, and roll? What fire? Yeah, I patted it out. I patted that shit out. So, like, stop, drop, and roll is, is nonsense, right? Like, it doesn't make yeah, sense. Dude, if, if, uh, if Mo, if Mo had to think about his time to stop, like, I if Mo had no, no, drop dude. and roll. Well, hello, I ain't doing all that. I, I think like dropping and crawling under the smoke makes more sense than stop, drop, and roll. There's a little like, fire on my leg, on my pant leg. I'm just going to yeah, pat it out. If Mo was sat there and started rolling, he'd probably start that fire out. Right? Yeah, <laughs> there'd be more fire on me. I just wanted to I just wanted to confirm my uh, my theory. No, no, I don't drop it wrong. Yeah. I pat that shit out. I'm a G. Anyways, Bochi, I love the, I love the art. Love the art. Character's great. Episode 2 is when she uh, does a little bit of interacting, a little bit of character growth. Okay, um, episode 1, we're just totally... So episode one, she uh, she meets her friend. No, 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 uh, no, 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 not yet. Those yes? those are acquaintances. Those are what I would call an acquaintance. No, they become friends. They Do you become consider friends. us acquaintances, Chimpa? No. Yes, that's what you just. <laughs> she she just, she literally just did she did one song with them and they're friends. Bro. Yeah, you can make. Him, uh, she literally know. she was literally sitting at the park, damn near in tears, and this girl comes. <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh, you play guitar? Oh my god, I love guitar. Oh my god. Okay. Can you please come play with me, please? Oh, you, oh, oh, don't say anything. And grabs her hand and takes her. She didn't even get to respond. She's like, come on. Whoop, you coming with me. That is the type of friend that I need, actually. Because I don't want to do anything. I need people to do stuff for me. Then... That's why I said she made a friend real quickly. Also, like, the scene right before that was actually really funny. 
she's she's she decides to go eat lunch by herself in a park oh, yeah. <laughs> and she sees she's a, she sees a guy right next to her she's like man <laughs> she's like oh he just oh, like me he just like me and then <laughs> and then and then two seconds later she, uh, it, whole family, pulls up. Whole family wife and kid <laughs> He, homie mad happy mad fulfilled <laughs> and she's like oh Everybody man life life. <laughs> life is really hopeless for me huh yeah. <laughs> nobody is like me <laughs> it really sinks her even further down <laughs> but then but then blonde hair girl shows up our friend comes pulls her let's go play the band Wooty whoop she meets black haired girl they get a feel for they all get a feel black, for each other blue blue hair girl blue hair blue girl? girl whatever Okay. And then she ends up playing in a box. In, in a crazy. box. Literally in a box. A cardboard box. Mango. Mango. Mango box. Mango box. That's how she gets the nickname in episode two. Episode two. Keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, the show went terribly because she was super nervous. She doesn't know how to play. Can't play properly. She was She was scared. She don't play. She can't play on key with everybody else because she's not looking at nobody else. Cause she's literally in a box while she's playing. In a box. I was thinking about it. How does the music sound if you're in a box? It can't sound the good, audio right? Must sound terrible. It's, it can't but sound I good. I think you have your. I think it's plugged in to speaker, so I don't think it makes a difference. Yeah, probably, probably. But yeah, that was, that's basically episode one. They played. They got a little bit closer. They're not really friends in this episode. Maybe. That's what I just said. I don't. But you know how it goes. I said that. And then, and then episode two. <laughs> Joey, did I not say this? Yeah, As someone who... Yeah. Yeah, episode two. Look, you don't know what you be talking about sometimes, though. <laughs> episode two. He said, was, he said it louder. I'm sorry. It was, it was he disagreed with through. me. He literally said they weren't... <laughs> episode two. Episode two, they came through the French... That's when the friendship got real. That's real. when... That's... Yes. Friendships, friendship is really real. Like, we're really rocking with each other. Like, she's like, yo, come through... No, she tried. Wait, this is the episode where she was like, "Yo, get a job, right?" Yeah, yeah. Everybody has to get a job. We all need. We need money for the band to keep going because uh, it's a money pit right now. It's We're not bringing pit. in enough people. Like, you don't have any friends. You don't have any friends. And the friends that I have, they don't mess with it anymore because the show was trash. That shit was trash. Last time they came here, you was playing in a box. <laughs> they not coming back. Leave you in a box like Alakazam. Mm. Think outside it. Magic, the cut you in half. I like that. Yeah, it's a bar. It's just a bar. So to avoid trying to go at work, she takes an ice bath. She tries to get super sick. That super was a little sick. crazy. She, like, start, she's, she, she starts doing guitar in front of a fan while she's wet. It's right. It's bad. Trying to get trying to get sick. It's, wakes up the next day. She's like perfect. Curse, curse. Ah. And then she she arrives there like twenty minutes early. Pulls As up. always, which is which is which is something people with anxiety do. They're like, "What should I do? Should I be there early? No, I'm gonna show up later than what I want to show up, because that it's it's the anxiety, man. It's the anxiety. Break it down for us. Break it down for us. Break down the anxiety. So it's like you you show up too early, people are gonna think that you're just too eager to be there. But if you sh if you show up too late, people are gonna think, "Dang, this guy doesn't care at all." So like you have to like you you overthink it so much that it like it corrupts you. It just corrupts you. And the anxious mind, it doesn't really it doesn't hit the point where you're like, I don't care what people think. <laughs> yeah. That 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 thought doesn't enter your head, huh? No, never. No. When when I go anywhere, I always think that everybody is watching me. I feel like... <laughs> now is this main character syndrome? No. It's just me no. being Weird. Super anxious. Yeah. Okay, I feel that. And then uh, she 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 shows up there a little early, and uh, out comes a scary. Wait, was, she, was it outside? Was it outside? No, she goes inside, right? Um, when she saw the when she sees the manager. Yeah, it's inside, right? Uh, yes, it's inside. It's inside. This was the five minutes thing that was before work. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That was before she started working. When she started working, then yeah, she pulls up. The manager is outside. And the manager's like, "What's going? What you doing?" You, the show starts a little bit later. She shuts down completely. No completely words. Shuts, no words. Being no spoken. words. Literally, no, no, nothing spoken. Completely shuts down. 
Luckily, her friend came and saved her a little bit later and was like, oh, she's working here. She's like, oh, yeah, 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 I'm working. She's like, why didn't you just say that? I tried. Uh, I tried. I tried. <laughs> just whispers and mumbles. Nothing Nothing was said again. <laughs> so, they, so they go through, watch the, go through, and she gets to see a real show. And it actually hits her like, okay, this is what it is to perform for people. Like, this is kind of nice. This is kind of nice. Like, I, I kind of feel it. Like, okay, like, you give what I did the other day when I was performing in a box. That was fucked up because these people paid to see me. They paid 22,000 yen, which is the equivalent of six months of work in Japan. <laughs> and, and all they did, they came to see me in a box playing the guitar off key with everybody else. That's just terrible. Oh, so also, keep in mind, keep in mind, Joe, we haven't mentioned this. She's a YouTuber with 30,000 subs. She's big time. Oh, yeah, I did not mention yeah, yeah. But nobody knows her because she doesn't use her face. And the friends, her friends are fans of her. They just don't know it yet. They just don't know it. She's a VTuber. She's not even mm, a... She's... No, she, I, she, I, could, I doubt she would put a VTuber on. That's too much. <laughs> yeah. A fake face? No way. That's too close to my real face. Thank you. <laughs> way too close to my real face. I can't do that. So yeah, she she kind of understands like what it's like to to give a good customer experience, and yeah. then she shows a little growth at the end of the episode. She shows a little growth. Oh, also the other thing that I really like about this this show is that the different imagery and metaphors that it shows. Like at the end, it shows, uh, oh, you took a step further, and then it shows her like taking one step, and it's like a giant staircase, like a huge yeah, the, giant staircase. The journey of a thousand miles. Yeah, she's like, dang, I'm not ready for this. No, she was like, she was like, I felt like I took ten thousand steps. Like, bro, you moved an inch forward. Like, that's it. Good job, though. My Nietzsche, my Nietzsche. Every day, one step forward. One step forward. I didn't know what you were saying, but yeah, one step at a time. My Nietzsche is Nietzsche. Exactly. One step there. And now we talk about steps. But yeah, I got teams. Bochi. Just real quick, I want to say Bochi is uh my favorite uh, of the season. Dope, dope. Like the other ones, the other ones might blue lock might be a little bit better. Chainsaw Man might be a little bit better, but Boji's my favorite. What about what about Beast? What about what about, what about Beast? It's a comfy anime. You know, you tuck yourself in. It's it's warm. It's cozy. You're Joey sitting by a campfire. No, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. We're talking about Demon School. I just want to know what how does Beast Tamer rank in the Joey, this trash ass anime. <laughs> All right, so let's let's go. Let's jump into this bullshit anime. Wait, not Beast Tamer? Not Demon School? Let's go, let's go, uh, we can do Shinobi, Demon School. We can do Beast Tamer at the end because Chip hasn't watched it either. Alright, Demon School. So, I guess I'll save my opinion on the shit. So Demon School, I watched the, the first episode. Like, I don't like the character designs. Like, they're all, they look like an amalgam of, like, what kids draw. Like, when they're children and they're like, I'm gonna use the chicken's feet. I'm gonna do, like, a, pe a Pegasus wing. Like They're the, they're the misfit. Okay, so wait. Real quick, just so the viewers know, you didn't watch. I didn't watch season one or season, season two. One and two, you got some synopsis from Moet, correct? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, synopsis. And then I remember. I gave a good synopsis though, so like a great I, synopsis. I probably did, but I'm pretty sure you came in here saying something during the week. What was it? Something I said. Like, Chipek said I, the I show said, was trash. I said I don't mess with episode like, one. I, and said, and I, I don't clapped mess back at him, and I was like, "Bro, you didn't even I watch. Didn't even watch the show. <laughs> you missed 50 episodes of character development." Dude, there are two 30-minute videos that I linked that you could watch to catch up on everything if you wanted to. But they're the misfit class, basically. They're kind of supposed to look weird. They're demons. Yeah, but nobody looks normal. Like, there's not a single character that looks like I enjoy looking at. Like, like you know the the teachers that they have? They're all very strange. Like, the one girl that has a beak, she would look normal, but she has a beak. Like, what, what, what's, what's up with that? Yeah, she has a beak. They're not humans. There's only one human in this entire show. Yeah, but even even the human looks weird. With it's his Roomba. With his bug eyes. Damn. Googly. Yeah, bug eyes. I think I think it's like regular regular eyes. He got googly yeah, regular. bug eyes. Googly eyes. Uh, I don't like uh, what's it, what's this ba Bachika Master Bachika, Bokicha. Was it was his master's Who, name? Which one? The girl. The girl. The little redhead girl. Maybe Are you she... caught up? You watched today's episode? Yeah. So uh, I thought I was like I was totally in. I was like, okay, this is the classic shonen training. 
like yo you gonna do all the servant shit for me? Yeah, no, no, no. That's not. This not classic. This is not classic children train. This is. This is. This is Mr. This is Mr. This is Mr. Miyagi. This is Mr. Miyagi. Wax on, wax off. Like this is not. This is not classic children. No. You feel me? You you do the work, and at the end of the training, you are gonna be like, when are we gonna start training? And he's like, oh, this is the training. Punch at you, and then you you die. That's what he thought too. That's what he thought too. Though he put up his hair and everything. Whole time. Yeah. No, no, no. The worst. The worst part is like he's like, all right. I'm gonna take a step further and do do the errands before she even yeah. asked me to do them. Like, and I harder on this. What does that even mean? No, I was like, okay. first he didn't like what she said about him, but he was like, hmm, maybe I'm doing this for he's something. Like, no, he's like, I'm not putting my heart because he talked. He talked to the homie. He talked to both of the homies, and they was training. Wait, who, who, who's the? Oh, the oh, those homies, those homies. Okay. Yeah, the the uh, his, his, player. the most popular dude who was his servant, basically. His, he, that's his servant? It's not his servant? Well, he's dedicated. Un underling? Kind of. You, so you have to watch the damn show because it's hard yeah, to underling. understand. Oh, underling, underling is correct. Underling is good. He uh, beat him. He beat him on like the first day of school. Dang. Uh, he Eric, made it Eric, first and then he beat Eric, him and the dude like super is like... He's like, oh my... He's like, okay, all right, you're my master. <laughs> okay. Basically. Listen, I like uh, when they're talking about how like their their ghost stories, their war stories about how the training is awful. This guy is playing video games. Like what? You know what I mean, He's being forced to play video games every single one from like, night know, from to night to day. Off. Can't do anything. No breaks. <laughs> has to go to class after. To to class class yeah, but that's what after. what what is everyone else doing though? Like is everyone else not doing the same thing? But it's not. They're not sitting there staring at a screen playing video oh, games. Like, yeah, they're not. They're all, not all of them are there. Not all night. Those other guys are there because they want to get a punch in, right? That's their goal. Uh, the girls have to pose, but they don't got to be there all night. Not everybody's there all night. And the rumor is going home. <laughs> like, this, this guy, this yeah. guy has the easiest, right? Like that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. The, uh, the video. I don't even know if the video game one has the easiest dude because you can just get headaches staring at the screen all day. No, I'm talking. I'm, ta I'm talking about. I'm talking about blue dude. Oh, I, I don't know. Doing errands. Going home? Hell! I feel like, I feel like, the, pose, I feel like the pose is easier. Yeah, I, uh, the sexy class is probably the easiest. Yeah, but so, like, okay, listen, well, listen, like you could, you could say, was like the women class is the easiest. You could, you could oh, say, you could say that's the easiest, but like mentally, you don't know if you're doing that right. You, you, you don't know. If you're, kind of tough. You don't know if you're doing it right, and then like sometimes it's like you're you're self conscious. Like, am I doing this right? Like, what if I'm doing it wrong? What if I'm pricing the wrong thing? I don't know. I think the Aaron. I think I think it's Aaron's. Aaron. I don't know, man. Oh, Aaron. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's not you, doing you, errands. Though. He's literally being subservient to her. He's doing everything. Yeah. Uh, what? What? Listen. What was messed up was when they went after the monsters. He was like, "Man, I'm not even hungry for that anymore. I need some meat." That was messed up. No, that's real. Nah, that was messed up. I'm not. Here. I'm I'm cool off that now. Y'all took too long. Nah. You but never you never you like nah, I don't even want that no more. All I know is it's about to get real real. He's actually about to start training. Uh the the yeah. the grandpa when he goes home is that the is that, is that the dude at the bottom? Yes. Yep. Okay. That dude is obsessed with it. Interesting. Very That's awesome. the first person that ever loved him. Dang. I need that. I need that for real. Yeah, dude. Really? You gotta at least watch the first episode. I feel like you gotta at least watch the first episode just so you understand what this dude went through. So she's for real training him now? Yes. Yeah. That's what I mean, that's what she said. What was she gonna do? After Sullivan came through, Sullivan was like, Oh my gosh, I love you so much. Thank you for training my grandson. <laughs> oh, she was like, Oh yeah, training your grandson. <laughs> she's like, yeah, train, training So she your grandson, so she didn't she didn't she didn't know. know. She didn't know, right? She didn't know. She that's just what forgot. Oh, she, no, she completely forgot. Oh, she forgot. She so she didn't know. At first, yeah, at first she was making them like prove their loyalty to her, and then she just liked it. Yeah, okay. she's like, "Oh, he's going all in anyway. Fuck it, I'll just have to be my servant." I mean, you got somebody doing that day and night for you, or during the class and everything. Like, oh, okay, cool. We get used to this. Like, oh shoot, I got to train you now. She's like, "Oh, my bad, Sullivan Sama. Yeah, let me let me go and get your grandson right." All right, now she's gonna make him a bow and arrow. All right. Yeah. Or, or whatever weapon, yeah. 
kind of see the point of uh of what um this all was because this whole thing is a concentration thing right yeah it's like you're staying focused to yep. one thing yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing with the uh, the the, the, the uh, video video game one. Video game one the same. And the girls, it's how to distract so like you could do what you need to do, like distract so you can punch them in the face type of thing. You know, you look in my eyes, I hit you with my my leg. Yeah, the Will Smith type of thing. The the girls and the dude is like conquering some fear. Like even though the girl is a a, a famous uh, whatever singer or whatever yeah. she is. Um, it's called, but she's in that in that mode. The um, water, here. the water people. No, the water people. It just they, they're trying to get closer. We're in the uh, beast cage. <laughs> they probably have them and the other dudes probably have the most practical training. <laughs> like if you're being real. Yeah. They got to figure out how to how to get stronger to get out of there, and then the other people have to just get faster and stronger. So that's like real training, I would say. And then you have the, uh, the what's it called? Unfortunately, we don't get to see the invisible guy doing anything. You know, the guy that's always in the silence. Oh, episode one? I messed with the one girl that has a crush on him. Which one? The, the girl. Um, the tall girl. Yeah, the tall girl. Yeah. Tall girl? Yeah, I messed with her. Because she has uh, <laughs> she, she's, uh, yours voice actor oh. from Spy Family, I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh, does she? I don't think I noticed. I forgot her name. Amiri? That's her name. Yeah, I don't know her name. I just said it. Amiri. Yeah, I don't know her name. Okay, I just for sure. Yeah. Cool, fuck you too. It's all good. <laughs> all right, for sure. <laughs> What's the next one? Demon School. Demon School is cool. Like Demon School is just a slice of life, though. Like yeah. I, I, I'm not too. There's, there's not a lot in Demon School for me. Yeah, it's just a show. Very not a lot. I just enjoy it. It's, com- it's comfy. It's comfy. It's you not like that. It. It's not that it's comfy. It's not that comfy. For it gets me. comfier. You should have watched more than one episode. I watched two. For the new season, you literally skipped season one and two. Okay. Uh, haters everywhere. We're going, going we going tamer. Hell no. Is that is that what's up next? No, no, no. We're gonna do Shinobi. All right, good. Because you guys both said it wasn't bad this week. Well, it, it's it's bad, but it wasn't as bad. It was alright. So, like the beginning, it kind of reminded me of a uh, an, another. I didn't see episode three drop today. I did not see that. Oh, I didn't see Wait, it either. Did? Oh shoot, I didn't see it either. So, like the beginning, kind of reminded me of Neon Genesis again. Where it's like this guy's like in a position to like save the world, and he's like, "Man, I can't do this." And I hated that about Neon Genesis, but in this, like, kind of makes sense, dude. Like, you yeah, can, he just you, got everything, like everything just taken from him. He's got four stars. Quick, it, Uncle's like, "You're gonna die, or you become a ninja. You gotta choose." Oh, you son. <laughs> or option you got three: it. come with me. Come with me. How many times can we do that? How many times can we do that? <laughs> Forever. Perfect. Exactly uh, what I wanted. But yeah, it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I liked his test. I think that was pretty cool. The test was uh, kind of whack, though. No, the, the way it worked. Everybody's like, cheating. Yes, they're ninja. You're supposed to be doing stuff without getting caught. But you're, it's part of the rules to not cheat, and they're cheating. What do you mean by everybody's cheating? The girl that's trying to kill him brought weapons. She's cheating. Yeah, she's cheating. The the girl is running around, hiding. But they're ninja. It's part of being ninja. We're getting to see what being ninja is about. I, I, already, I already know what it is about. I watched Three Ninjas. Uh, Remember Three Ninjas? Yeah, good. Naruto. Yeah, I see. Also, the uh, the opening of the show, like, why does it have a Naruto opening? Like, I don't even watch Naruto, but, like, it's... Whatever, dude. Like, there's no ninja aesthetic, but, like, it has the opening of a Naruto opening. Whatever. I don't even... I don't watch the opening, so I don't know. I just heard Naruto songs before. And it has that little flute or whatever. Whatever. I'm I just want to know what his ninja way is going to be. Yeah. I think he's going to be... Like Naruto's ninja way was never leaving his friends behind. He's gonna be Earth. He's gonna be an Earth ninja, ninja. Earth style ninja. ninja. <laughs> ninja. I don't know his ninja was gonna be. Oh, when they were making fun of him for that stuff, I love it. Oh, I don't ninja. like that he. I don't like that he said it at the end though. In this episode, I was like, come on, bro. Wait, what did he say at the end of the episode? He said water style or something, or like. That's the. Middle. Oh yeah, yeah, water style. That was the middle. 
That was the middle. Yeah, the middle, yeah. He's like, okay, all right, how do I make fire? How do I make water? And then she, like, flashes the cigarette and blows coffee off on the cigarette. Like, all right. But then he does it in the actual test, too. But she told him, she gave him the advice. She's like, you can't make nothing out of nothing. It's like, yeah. you got to you gotta do something to get the to get the fire style and to get the water style. Mm. Like, and then oh. he, yeah, he's like, oh, you right. I can't make... I'm not Chris Angel. I'm not Chris. How how am I supposed to make nothing out of nothing? He's about to say Chris Rock, so which means he knows him. Who? Who? Yeah. We were talking about Chris Tucker earlier. <laughs> but why'd you just say his name? Tucker? Because yeah. I remember I I remember names like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, water style, fire style. I don't. The show's okay. I don't know. I don't know. The second episode I, I don't was know. okay. It, it wasn't as bad though as what you thought. It'd be. Like you were crushing it last week. This week it's fine. Right, that's that's what's what up. Of what's up? What's up with the uh, with the family just being like, "Hey, man, the price of the brick has gone up." And you got the price of the brick has gone up. Oh, because I mean, they're they're showing how the other family is like infiltrating things and basically breaking laws. That's crazy, though. So, or like break, breaking like the treaties and stuff, basically. This is not a typical. Sh- this is typically not. This is not like both sides are cheating. It's disgusting. It's disgusting behavior. The protagonist should not be cheating. Uncle, uncle's terrorizing the 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 store. The who who's who's this girl? Like who who is this girl to them? Which girl? With the mask. Uh, white hair. Yeah, with the mask. Yeah. She's probably like his betrothed to be or some shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she just, yeah, she just, she's, she's fighting the other girl, right? Also, the other girl's like two years younger than her. Like it's messed up. How you gonna? No, they're the same age, aren't they? No, nah, she, she called him senpai. No, white hair girl. No, the other girl. The girl that's trying to kill him. Yeah, she's a year older. No, he's he's older than all of them. He's older than her for sure. Because she calls, she called him senpai. No, I thought she was in. I thought she was the second year, and he was the first year. No. Nah. Or she was already in high school, and he's going to high school. So she's like, no, nah, she's younger, for sure, for sure. Uh, surely, surely, maybe you're right, but I don't think you are. Okay. <laughs> hey, where else can you get all the facts at? Not here. <laughs> not, not here. <laughs> But yeah, right. this, this I is. I don't got much to say on Shinobi. Yeah. Joey's right. Look, last week I came in and killed it. I was calling it Shinobi. I was saying, fine. Worst animes ever. This week it was all right. It was, it was literally fine. It's what I expect out of something that's not like a main season thing. Like, it's what I need. Like, this is all I need. You know, something chill, something I can enjoy. I mean, if something else, if, if it's something chill and something you can enjoy, you can just watch Bochi the Rock. I am gonna watch it. I'm also gonna watch Two Year Eternity and stuff. We just, this week, dude, we had, you know, we had 10 episodes of something to watch. It was crazy. Was, like, dude, Friday had come and I only had to watch two episodes, and then Saturday dropped, and I had I was behind by six, and I Good. literally went out to a baby shower. I was behind by six episodes on Saturday. Yeah, but what I'm like, saying is, what I'm saying is, Ninja Trash is not necessary. Beast Tamer is not necessary. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you could drop, you could drop a Beast Tamer for sure. Yeah, you could drop. I'm still watching it. Can I, can I, can I rag on the show yet? Are we still talking about yeah, Shinobi? Go ahead and rag. Go ahead and rag. Rag, 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 rag. All right, look. Beast Tamer is an isekai that didn't want to be. It's not. It's not. It's the isekai. Come on. It's, it's, not, isekai it's, isekai. it's not. Yes, it is, Joey. Stop it's, it. It's a slice Joey, of life. Stop it. It is not a slice of life. life. It is not a slice of life. It is literally an isekai. And so first first of all, as soon <laughs> as soon as they're like, yo, there's a guard dog. Oh, man. I don't know what's going on. Is beating up everybody, and then he went to talk to the people, and the people weren't talking back. I was like, okay, so it's I already, know, I already, I already saw how the whole episode played out. I was yeah, like, the I mean, dude, it's a, it's a harem. It's basically supposed to be a harem. It's, it's a, cl- I mean, this is literally trash. It's a girl. When he fights the girl, he's gonna beat her, and the girl's gonna want to join his team. The girl's also gonna be patrolled to the yeah, whole. Dude, he's gonna get every single one of the ultra beasts. Point, once I saw this. I know how the whole anime is. Yeah, going. he's gonna get every single one of the ultimate beasts, and then he's gonna fight the other people. That's li- and then why don't we watch this bullshit for them? Because we need to see it happen. Oh no! Look, no. last week I'm not I discussing said, this look, anime look, look, again after last, this week. Look, look, bro. It's last just, time I said yeah. things are predictable, but I meant they're formulaic, and and that's 
like oh shoot and that's what uh i'm glad i was like called on that because it was like yeah that's what it's supposed to be it follows a specific formula this is what happens too dude gets all it's a harem he gets all the girls beats up the people who hated on him and goes no, 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 no. this is where there's the difference this is this is not following a formula because they could follow a formula and still have some differences. This is completely predictable. It's following the formula. Yeah, that's that's oh. what it is. Uh, no, 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 no. It's a harem. There's a slice of life it. formula where it's, it's not like a slice of life. It's a harem. And you tried to say, and what happened ten seconds ago? You tried to say it was a slice of life. Change my mind. You, you, you fucked up. I think. Change right. my mind. People change. This is not a slice of this. Is I don't even know because a harem isn't a show type. Is is that's not a show type. This is this is what this is is bullshit. That's what show type this is. Right? This is show type is bullshit. This is easily predictable. It, the show is gonna go exactly how you just said it. He's yep. gonna get all the mythical characters. He's gonna fight some boss that wants I'll to take the mythical Exodia. character, yep. and then he's gonna end up whooping his ass. There's literally I'm not discuss. Where I'm not coming back and discussing the show. Okay, am I gonna finish watching it? Yeah. Cause I'm trash, but I'm willing to admit that I, I'm trash. I watch trash shows. I'm not. I'm not coming back and discussing this show again. This shit is oh, garbage. We discuss it, bro. This shit oh, is garbage. You can literally. I can tell you what's gonna happen next episode before I even see it. Who's he gonna run into, Joey? What kind of spirit? Fox. The, the double. The double. The, the double headed. The fox spirit. If you, if you actually watch the intro, oh, dog. Dope, it shows all of them. It shows every girl he's gonna run into. One of them is and even twins. Does it? One of them is twins. Oh, oh he's gonna run into twins. Yep, gets both of them. Oh, okay. Both okay. Them. So he'll probably, so he'll, he might hit the twins hub next episode. We don't know. But yeah, they, he's going to keep adding girls, probably adding girls every other episode. So probably like a two episode clip, he'll be adding girls. So by the 10th episode, he'll have all five. And then 11, he'll be fighting whoever he got to fight. And somebody. me and Mo are going to be watching it every week. And I'm not going to be discussing it, though. I'm not going to be discussing it. You come in here and try to talk to me about Beast Tamer, I'm just going to say trash. That's it. This show is not gonna get better. The dialogue is trash. The the animation, the fights ain't good. They're all just still frames. Every time, every time a fight pops up, it's it's showing his face or it's showing the sky. I'm tired of shows doing that to me. I don't want to hear the fighting noise. I'm not here for that. You like it's Ed and Eddie. Boom, psh, boom. All these fucking sound effects. I ain't trying to. What are we doing? That's not a fight. But well, you watch it every week, though. You just don't want to talk about it. That's what you no, said. No, I, I, I'm because I like I said, I'm gonna watch it. It's I'm I'm trash. I watch trash shows. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna talk about this trash. Shit. Just trash. I'm not gonna do this to the people. If you out there and you wondering, should I watch Beast Tamer? Three episodes in, you don't gotta watch it. Go ahead and watch it. You got nothing to do. And you want to chill past the episode. If you don't know, now you know. Deuces. I need shit out there to watch instead. All right. Deuces. Then in next episode four of the CMP podcast, we'll be naming our top five anime of the season. Ranked. Uh, Maybe face cam. Wait, was, Wait, was that it? That? What's the difference between that and what we did today? Because we didn't rank them. Oh, it's, it's I know there's, there's, there's going to be three episodes. Their episode is a little more of a, you know. Can't wait to bring up Beast Tamer next week. I hope so. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, hold on. Let me get my let me get my last little shit off. Oh. The villainess. Okay. Villainess. I don't have a picture for. I villainess. like it. I like villainess. The these other two are not watching villainess. So I'm, gonna I'm, start, not... I'm gonna start this week. I'm gonna start this week. So, so I'm not gonna get into it too wait, much. Is villainess number sixteen on the rankings. Yes. Higher, higher than the other bullshit shows we actually deep dove into. Seventeen, yeah. yeah. Higher than Shinobi and higher than Beast Tamer. Shinobi, by the way, Shinobi is twenty one, and uh, wait, Beast Tamer's on here. What? It's twenty three. Yeah, trash. Twenty three. Also, also, we will be talking about Mod Cycle once Shipback catches up. Yeah, yeah. Also that. Yeah, we will talk about Uh, Villainess. Look. I like it. It's it's literally my type of show. Once again, <clears throat> it's kind of like Bochi a little bit. Where it's, it's my I like the shows with female main characters. I'm tired of. I I don't like watching these wimpy ass dudes do they wimpy ass shit. It annoys me. Damn, you didn't uh, watch the one show I was talking about. The dude that got into the dating game. Which he show? loved that show. 
You literally love that show. What show is that? It's not from this season or last season, but it was uh, how uh, my life in a dating game. My life in a dating game sim. Trapped in a dating simulator. Maybe I'll check that out. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, she she's on her uh, her real nigga shit. She's pulling up on she's pulling up on the dude she likes. She's like marry me immediately. She's uh she she's dumping she's dumping the old dudes she doesn't like. She's dumping she's dumping dudes, fucking their brothers. Like I'm with all that. Like, and then she's taking she's making big moves, big moves. The only problem with the show she right now. Dance. Wait, say it one time. You said she don't got to dance. dance. She don't got to dance. She, no, she don't got to dance. No, she don't got to dance. She make money moves. She just pull up her pants and do the rock away. And lean back. Well, I'm glad she, I'm and glad lean she back. put that into a completely and different lean back. I was thinking of. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, the sh- but the only thing I was going to say, the only problem is that the show is moving pretty it, it it like episode um episode it's like four a centipede out. like a centipede bro it's so no slow. it's the it, it's moving like a hawk i mean oh hawks it's, oh it's moving like it's hawks. Kinda at, who's not it's where i would thought the finale would be at on episode four so i don't know where they're gonna do where they're gonna take it next we're gonna see it's very interesting well joey said he's gonna catch up so i don't want to spoil too much yeah, but I'm yeah. Gonna, i'm gonna catch up hopefully during the week i'm i'm going nowhere this week so i should be able to <sighs> Congratulations. Yeah, that's, that's villain, I think. Congratulations to Crimson Seabed. I think. Oh. Yeah. Having a baby. Congrats. I love that guy. Congrats to everybody out there. What? Everybody what? didn't do something. That deserves everybody did something. No. Yeah. Alright. Next week I'm a, I'm an all birthdays matter type of guy. Okay. Alright. We're not gonna Wrap next this week. up. Tim. Next, <laughs> next, <laughs> next week, possible face cans. Next week, top five rankings of the anime next season. Mob Psycho, unlikely, until end of the month. Wait, wait, wait let's get to a thousand subs on this channel before we do face cans. Let's get to a thousand subs before we do face cans. So no I face scan next week. That's at the beginning. I'll edit it to put it in the beginning. Maybe. No, you no, why, don't lie. Don't. What's the <laughs> point of lying to us? I want to say, I'm like, what do you get from us? That? I want to say that I'm proud of us. By the way, this is what episode four, three, episode four, yeah, three. That's crazy. It's three, three. So this, this is four. This is this. This is literally. This has to be three. This is three. three? Yeah. So this three. is a hundred and fifty percent higher than I thought we get. Nice. Good job, bros. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you all next week for another episode of the CMP podcast. Peace out. Job, final score I got final score 28 17 eagles <laughs>